Once upon a time, there lived a lion in a jungle. This lion had a fox as his assistant. The lion went hunting and gave a share of his hunt to the fox. One day, the lion had a fierce battle with the elephant. In this, the lion was badly wounded. Because of this, he could not even move a step ahead. So, hunting was not at all possible. The lion was almost starving to death. And this affected the fox too. Which meant, in spite of being able to eat, he had to starve with the lion. Finally, one day the lion thought of a solution. He said to the fox, Oh fox, you are very smart. Persuade an animal and get him here. Then with one single blow, I will kill that animal. Hearing his master's words, the fox left in search of a foolish animal. He wandered far and wide. But he did not find a foolish animal in the jungle. Roaming and wandering everywhere, the fox reached a village. There he saw a lifeless donkey grazing around. Seeing him, the fox's eyes lit up. The fox greeted the donkey. Hey donkey, there is no green grass here. Then what are you grazing on? Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha, how weak you look. Doesn't your owner give you enough food to eat? For the first time, someone was talking so politely and showing concern to the donkey. With a heavy heart, the poor donkey said, What can I say, fox? I cannot lift as much weight as I used to. So my owner doesn't give me food to satisfy my hunger. Oh no, this is not right. The fox showed sympathy towards the donkey. My friend, then why not do one thing? You come with me to the jungle. Oh, there is a lot of green and juicy grass in the jungle. The donkey said, But there are wild animals also in the jungle. Hearing this, the fox became cautious. He said, Now don't worry at all about the wild animals. You should fear men. You know, the Lion King has sent me here. Our king has thought of saving all animals who live in the village from the injustice meted out by men folk. The king has decided he will protect all the animals living in the village and give them place in the jungle. Also, he has decided to make you a minister. Hearing this great news, the donkey was delighted and he immediately got ready to go with the fox. The fox took him to the lion immediately. The poor lion was hungry since many days. He was happy to see a prey. The donkey was far and the lion tried to pounce on him. The donkey was stunned. He ran away from there immediately. The poor lion was left with nothing. Because his plan had failed so badly, the fox also felt terrible about it. He spoke in sage Narad's tone. Oh king, why did you have to show your haste? You should have attacked the donkey only after it came close. Never mind. I will get that donkey back here. You don't worry at all. Saying this, the fox left from there. Since the lion lost his prey, he was very sad. He let out a deep sigh 
and started thinking. Hmm. That donkey has run away from here. Why will he come back? Just then, the fox reached the donkey. He started reassuring the donkey. Really? You have no brains at all. The king of the jungle came forward to welcome you and you got scared of him and ran from there? How can a coward like you be a minister? Then he went close to the donkey and said, If the king really wanted to kill you, would you be able to run? Tell me, where would you run for life? If the king would have chased you, would you be alive? You would have died as soon as he would pounce on you. Now come, come, come on. It's yet not late. Come with me. You still have a chance. I'll explain to the king that he should make only you his minister. Come with me. Come, come. Seeing this, the fox fooled the donkey and brought him to the lion. This time, the lion did not show any haste. He let the donkey come close. He then pounced on the donkey and killed him. The lion said to the fox, You keep a watch on him. I haven't had a bath in many days. I will go and bathe before I sit to eat. Saying this to the fox, the lion limped towards a nearby pond. The fox was very hungry. He could see a feast in front of him. He could not resist. He thought for a while and the fox devoured the brain and heart of that donkey. After some time, the lion finished his bath and limped back. When he saw, he wondered the brain and heart of the donkey was missing. The lion was very angry. He roared very loudly. He asked the fox angrily, What is this fox? I can't see the brain and heart of the donkey. Why is it so? The fox said cheekily, Oh king, if this donkey had a brain and a heart, then would he come back to us to die? Oh king, the donkey didn't have a brain and a heart. 